Well then, another week, another no patch event for the Korean server. So keep in mind, this is the Korean server. So this event is not available in global yet. However, it gives you a sort of a future look into what's going to be available in the future, probably in like a month or two. So this time, uh, the fall kite flying event has been released. It's very similar to the bingo event that we've had previously. I'd say, I think the most previous one was uh, the disco one, right? Where you get like disco thingies and you needed to collect 100 of them. This time, if you want to max out the rewards, it's a little bit harder, but uh, the rewards are more than worth it, way better than the disco rewards. So, checking at the regular disc, uh, not disc, but bingo rewards, they are really nothing special. I mean, 5k sky stones, 20k gold, this stuff is whatever. Uh, mostly, we are going for those paper kites, so yeah, let's check the event rewards for that, and actually... I would say so far it's gonna be one of the best events that we've ever had as far as monster events go. So for the first 10, nothing special, you'll be getting some scrolls, uh, lion darks. These are shiny artifact boxes and these are the exact ones that you can craft in the alchemy one. As you can see, this is shiny artifact box as well. So it's really nothing special, it won't grant you like some sort of uh, higher tier artifacts but going further uh, also you'll notice that it says mystical scroll but this is just a bug with the translation in the korean server these are in fact light and dark scrolls uh yeah at 20 kites so you only need to complete two bingo boats you are getting your first wusa yes you are getting a full wusa actually and not only that oh if we go further uh we get a wusa at level 40 as well at level 30 Keep in mind, this is actually a good box. This is a legendary scroll selection box. It's not one of those boxes where you get just a, an unknown scroll or something. So yeah, you'll be able to choose probably a nat 4 of your choice, but maybe some of you will get a nat 5 as well. But yeah, second Wusa will be available after four boards. Uh, then there's a devil one, and look at this. Light and dark legendary scroll. So in total, uh, spoiler alert, you will have five light and dark scrolls and a legendary light and dark scroll. So after this event is live, uh, there will be quite a few people with new night light and dark night fives actually. Then we got another Wusa at 60 and then another one at 80 and believe it or not, at 100, at 120 and at 140. So these are seven Wusas in total. So even if you do not have a Wusa at all, you will be able to fully awaken 15 and even have 20 additional pieces for skill ups so yeah wusa amazing unit by the way uh, you can see it being used very frequently in brawl uh, this is the korean server but you will see it in na on global as well as you can see i wouldn't say it's like a must pick in most cases but it is an amazing option especially when he is so annoying to deal with because i mean the only way to deal with Wusa is pretty much having that strip for immunity, right? And yeah, up to this day, not a lot of people have a strip in their teams, yeah? Now, for how much energy you will need for that, so if we go to the event, I will open up the calculator and I'll also switch to the uh, that view so we could actually see it a little better. And there we go. Okay, so uh, we take the calculator, right, and we'll take the event, if I manage to do that somehow. There we go. So, uh, one attempt at a box requires you 80 energy. These are, by the way, you get one paper for energy use, so very similar to the disco one. You will need a total of 1 to 80 to complete the whole board, because as you can see, there are 16 pieces, and each of them requires uh, 80, so 1 to 80. 1 to 80 energy used essentially gives you 10 uh, of these kites and since there are 14 of them we'll need a total of almost 18,000 energy which is quite a bit it is quite a bit uh, when split across 14 days there's no weekly stuff so there's no need to split it into like two weeks three weeks but since the event lasts 14 days uh, you will need to use around 1280 energy per day which is Especially if we don't get any additional energy rewards from other mini-events, it is a lot. It is a very big amount. 
uh, because 60 energy adjusts at 300 crystals, which means that you essentially have to spend what is it like almost five to six thousand crystals just on B freshes if you want to max it out. So yeah, it is a lot. It is a lot. Uh, since there are 14 uh, boards required in total, you can essentially think of it as having to clear one board per day because 14 days, 14 boards. So yeah, uh, expensive, but it is one of the best events so far. If you're not able to max it out, I would say, where could you stop? I would say stopping after like 80 is a decent choice. I mean, Devilmons, they aren't as premium anymore. So yeah, at 80, I believe you are getting four copies, right? Yeah, at 80, you would be getting four copies, which would be enough to get the monster as well as awaken it to awaken 14. So yeah, if you're really tight on energies, 80 is probably where you would want to stop. But if you have a lot of crystal, have a lot of energy, feel free to max it out even further. But yeah, just a sh quick one about the event. Uh, that's about it. Oh, by the way, uh, maybe you want to know about the Beast Rider thingy. I mean, it was pretty much visible in the forms, but yeah, 200k gold, some energy mystical scrolls, nothing special there, yeah? But yeah, that's about it, and peace.